Zach, tell them what you got going on this weekend, man. I got a USPA drug tested national so you're champion. You're natty, bro. Yeah. You're in that natty life. I'm trying to. <laughs> I am. I am. <laughs> He's film wrong. So what am I gonna do today? Go to old sumo deadlift. I'm going to the dark side. I'm trying to convince you to uh, hook grip, but that's a. That's probably not gonna happen. Yeah, I'm. I'm, 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 I'm still working strap. on it. I'm a strap for sure. I'm gonna strap up. Strap up that for was, you. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Yeah, so we're at Pinnacle Performance. Uh, if you guys watched the gym tour video with Joe Sullivan, that was before this. And now I'm going to try sumo deadlifting. I've never pulled sumo ever. So I got Zach who pulls sumo. He's gonna compete tomorrow. So we'll get some video footage of that. Uh, Joe, who obviously is a freaking world renowned coach and a lot of the athletes here are phenomenal. So I'm gonna get some pointers. I don't know what's gonna happen with my body. I think when I go to pull, my arms may actually rip off my torso and my hips may shatter. Uh, so in that note, it was nice knowing y'all. All right, bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. So we got cameraman Zach on the camera. So if it sucks, you're never gonna see Zach again. I'm gonna leave him <laughs> coachless tomorrow, but I'm foam rolling, which I never do, but honestly, sitting in a car for hours, it just kind of feels good. So I am a big uh, proponent of, if it feels good, do it. So I'm just gonna do this for a little bit, and then uh, Zach's gonna give me some uh, sumo warm-up uh, exercise to do, and probably Joe as well. And then once the platform opens up, I'm gonna just start getting on there and uh, tearing apart my body. Who's that? That's what I'm thinking. I mean, where's that gonna go? It can go anywhere you want. Yes. <laughs> All right, Joe. Quick question. That is Perfect. This is the real position that we're trying to get into. This is fine. Just going off our plug comments from earlier. What's <laughs> um, up? So, uh, sumo deadlifts, okay. I'm a little bit worried about my hips. Mm -hmm. So, what do you recommend? Anything for warming up my hips? Are you like just get with the bar, start doing sumo deadlifts, or do you like to do a little bit of uh, pre work before that? I, I I do some. It's I hate the term prehab, but I call it like strength prep, okay. just to basically prepare you to actually go through the range of motion in a good range of motion so I'd say stretch first in order to be able to achieve that range of motion and then activate so that you can actually activate the muscles in the way that you want in that new range of motion that you have so I'd probably have you do um, just like the mo a modified couch stretch if you know what the couch stretch is I'm sure but like the way I do it is because you're mostly an external rotation in the femur uh, with sumo so you do the couch stretch but then you just work your front foot out so it's actually more of like a, a lateral line of stretch, not just like rec fem, but like also adductor. All right, so I'm exploring some different ranges of motion. Haven't done this in a while. Feeling it in the hips for sure. Uh, Zach was giving me some pointers to do some more diaphragmatic breathing, big word. Yeah, we're intelligent over here. Uh, and uh, just trying to loosen my hips up a little bit. Find where you're from the little bar. Find where your hands are perpendicular. There really is. You're gonna be. I'm probably gonna say outside. You're like finding your skin's gonna be the ring. You're a taller guy than I am. With my and then as you get to the bar, tension your glutes and hamstrings, and then the pull push your quads to the floor. Here. Because try to do, try to tension this, pull forward, and push your quads to the floor. trouble using my quads. Look at his feet. Turn your, turn your toes out. Angle your, even more. Because watch what happens, and this is for you too. Watch what happens. If he can't activate the quads well enough, his hips aren't into the bar enough as much as he needs to. So the knee wants to track over the toe. So if your toes, with conventional, you generally want to be like straight-ish ahead because it's easier for the knees to stay over the toe. The wider you go, 
unless you have killer hip mobility, which most people don't, especially someone getting out of a car after two or three hours or whatever the fuck it was, you're not gonna be able to keep the knee over the toe when you put force into the floor. It's gonna collapse. So turn your toes out, open up the hips a little bit more, and this is where that adductor importance comes. So now, try to glide the knees over the toes. And as you wedge and drop the hips into the bar, like Tyler was talking about, extend your neck up towards the ceiling. Better, but you're so strong, you're gonna need some weight on the bar to actually feel a bend in order to wedge drop the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Extend that T-spine. So rather than, rather than picking, extend the T-spine, lat spread. You've been doing bodybuilding, so yeah, look at that shit. Now push. The sumo, the deadlift in general, but mostly the sumo deadlift, it's like holding the torso and upper body in position while you use the legs to push away from you, or push, push the floor away from you. If, as soon as this deviates, you're fucked. But if you can keep this up and you're you're big and strong enough to do that, you're gonna be able to just push and do yeah. create like a, a standing leg press nice. essentially. I'll break it up into parts. Flat spread, big belly, push. Four hips in, push hard. Yeah. Push. Yeah, last one was real good. The only thing I'm going to change is if you watch the lockout on the last one, your, your arms will up slightly. Think long neck. Think like the giraffe neck. Just extend. It, like if there's a string on the top of your head, I'm fucking yanking up. Right. Pretty goddamn good sumo. Uh, basically, what the biggest thing that you started off with, because the sumo is a lot of people don't realize how quad dominant the sumo is. It's very uh, reliant, or not reliant, but it hinges a lot on how flexible the individual is. But if you can get into a good position, the knee is going to be in more flexion than it would be versus conventional. When the knee is in more flexion, when it's bent more, what are you going to use more? Your fucking quads, because that's what extends the knee. So if you can get into that good position, which is getting the hips, like the bar here, getting the hips into the bar and the torso upright, you'll just have to push the floor away from you. That's why you were having a hard time dropping the hips into the bar and forward to the bar. That's why we turn the toes out more, more because that lets the hips open up, get closer, and in turn lets the chest and the torso get more upright. So that was just the biggest tweak. And then after getting into that position and being like, oh shit, I can actually create some force here, you were just kind of pulling up into your neck. So if I cue long arms or long neck or just basically flex your triceps, it's gonna keep everything locked down and make the range of motion lower or shorter so that you can lock out in a better position. And if you try to shrug shit, you're just gonna fuck up your brace and lose energy, so. Oh, Come on! Hips fast! Hips, hips, hips! Easy. 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 Here you go. Come on! Come on! 
Sir. All right, so coolest thing so far is the Papa Sumo Cherry is honestly, I didn't feel anything in my lower back, which is mind blowing. It was like a magic trick just happened. Uh, I felt it mostly in my legs. We were just saying I'm gonna be probably really sore tomorrow. So I'm enjoying it today, because tomorrow I'll probably be crippled. But the weight, it feels way more technical than a conventional deadlift. And you really have to be patient and uh, kind of just keep the steps simple in your head. So just like Joe was saying, three steps in my head. I got my setup, I brace, uh, and, and kind of give like a lat spread. And then uh, just being patient off the floor so I can keep my position uh, for just a snappy lockout. But we'll see, I'm having fun. I'll, I'll probably work up, I don't know, we'll see. Somewhere maybe between six to 100 pounds. That'd be a good day. Yup, nice. keep it coming, good. Yeah, it's actually not too bad. Dumo, 800 pounds. Yeah, it's happening today. Yo, it definitely is. <laughs> go now. Big belt, big brace. Time it. Slack and go. Slack, go. go. And out. Back, back, back. I don't know what happened there. Tip it forward a little bit. Yeah. You're timing it now. Yeah. So, you started to pull. Remember what we said. Remember what. Remember what we said. When you, when you time that, if you lose the torso position at all on sumo, you're fucked. You can muscle fuck something up with conventional, but like with sumo, it's just much more precise. If you think that, remember that like marionette cue, like pulling the head. If you extend the neck and just keep this up, it's gonna keep the weight back, and it's just gonna be that push rather than having to like body unroll. Yeah. All right, so didn't get it, but the good news is I felt like it was totally technical. I could feel my whole body be pulled forward, uh, and it went right back to old habits. If I was pulling conventional, my head should have been looking upwards, and I was looking actually down at the ground when I pulled, uh, and I just had a ton of internal rotation. So I got to work on keeping my shoulders back, keeping my head up more, and using my legs more, and not letting the bar pull me forward. So we'll take another crack at it and see what happens. Hips in upright. So here's the deal, worked up to 635, which in my mind, I'm like, I wanna do more, but in reality, it's the first time I've ever done sumo deadlift. So I just gotta be happy with that. And I think to become a better athlete, I'm just gonna drop the weight. I'm gonna do a couple uh, sets of concentric and eccentric work. So we're gonna do like tempo basically, which you know, big fan of tempo. Check out my favorite squat variation right up here, wink, wink. Uh, and then just own the position, okay? So that's what I'm gonna work on uh, and just kind of see where the day goes, but I'm having a blast, I'm learning a lot. This is just a great gym, really cool people, uh, awesome environment, everyone's so knowledgeable and they're all just helping me out like crazy. So this has just been such a great experience overall. Come on, let's go. Squeeze it, squeeze it, come on, come on. Coach Joe, we got two Coach Joes, but he's he's the one that's up here today because he's teaching me all the good stuff. So how did I do on my first day of sumo deadlifting? Honestly, I was really impressed. Like you have 
you have a very, very nice strength base already because you're a strong dude, you have muscle, you know how to use it. You obviously have trained bodybuilding style for a minute, so you know how to use mind-muscle connection to actually feel your stuff contracting. So it was real nice, honestly. Like all of really just like I just cued Jose right here like twist the elbows and that's gonna help you it's different cues for different people but it's mostly just getting your shoulders over top of or behind the bar and then just making it more of a leg movement because because if the torso can get as upright as you can all it's gonna be is pushing the floor away from you and then squeezing your butt cheeks and then you're done so really just working on being upright and just owning that position like four weeks of like a couple of normal sets followed by those tempo position pulls like you'll be hitting shit in the sevens yeah nice. yeah well guys can't say thank you enough for having me it was absolutely a blast so make sure you're following this man make sure if you're in ohio you come check out this gym had an absolute blast here so much knowledge just observing everything the community the culture is what we're all about uh so yeah thank you so much dude i appreciate you coming absolutely, out absolutely for sure all right, so overall, fantastic day over here at Pinnacle Performance in Ohio with the man, the myth, the legend, Joe Sullivan himself and Mr. Zach hanging out with us today. Just getting some feedback, learning sumo deadlift. Nothing crazy, but hopefully you guys learn from their pointers. Saw some cool lifts going on. Joe doing tempos, that's some extreme weight. Uh, but great day, awesome gym. Highly recommend you guys come check this out. Uh, drop in, so much knowledge, can't speak more highly of this place and have an absolute blast. But make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, stay in Lean Meat Strike Machine. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.